Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this episode we're going to be ranking all of the Fox X-Men movies from worst to best. We'll be covering all of the films in the franchise as well as the most recently released one, Dark Phoenix, and with that set to end the film franchise, this is our definitive list. Make sure you leave your list in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily videos like this. With that out the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this. I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax and let's get into my list of the X-Men films ranked from worst to best. Number 12, X-Men Origins Wolverine. X-Men Origins Wolverine pretty much ensured that none of the other characters were getting solo movies after it completely ruined Wolverine. This is a key example of why prequels don't really work and the plodding film has pretty much become the laughing joke of the franchise. This messed it all up. Sabretooth, Gambit and Deadpool to the point that Ryan Reynolds had to go back in time and kill this version of the character in Deadpool 2's post credit scene. This is a disaster and whether it's bad CGI, walking away from explosions or Will I Am being in the film, this is bad, bad, bad. Number 11, X-Men The Last Stand. X-Men The Last Stand had so much potential, but it completely dropped the ball. This is the first film in the franchise to tackle the Dark Phoenix saga, and it does so pretty disastrously, with a lot of the drama that should come from it becoming pure schlock. Vinnie Jones casting as the Juggernaut is laughably bad, Rogue is relegated to a D-lister, Halle Berry gets far more screen time than she deserves, Cyclops is pretty much thrown out in the first 5 minutes, and Professor X gets a laughable death that is so bad that the rest of the franchise completely ignored it upon resurrecting him. There are some excellent moments in the film such as Magneto playing chess at the end and missing Charles, but overall there's just so much bad here that it leaves a very sour taste. This pretty much destroyed the original cast being put in the movies for several years and due to that it ranks very low on the list. Number 10, X-Men Dark Phoenix. X-Men Dark Phoenix is our latest and last entry in the franchise. At this point the Dark Phoenix saga seems impossible to adapt and this feels like another failed attempt. It's not bad, it's not amazing, it's just very middle of the road and feels like a completely unnecessary entry that doesn't really do anything good or bad. I think at this point that the X-Men franchise has run its course and whilst we've had some amazing films, this feels like the right time to put an end to it and pass it over to Disney. Number 9, X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men Apocalypse is a film that I'm quite torn on. Though I enjoyed it quite a lot upon first watch, after repeat viewings of the film, it just doesn't quite hold up. The new team don't possess the charisma of the original or even first class group, and the movie drags in quite a lot of sections, making for a difficult second watch, especially due to its lengthy runtime. In comparison to Thanos, Apocalypse really falls flat, and though Oscar Isaacs does well with what material he's given, all in all he doesn't feel quite as terrifying as he should. There are still some stunning visuals here, but nothing feels like a real high point of the series, and that's why it ranks lower in the list. Number 8, X2. Now, the position of this film is something that I kind of went back and forth on because whilst I love it, I actually prefer the first film. There's just too much kiddified stuff in this and I feel like the movie does a lot of jokes that don't really land. Cyclops is relegated to a side character here, Halle Berry again gets far too much screen time and Lady Deathstrike is handled abysmally. So those are my reasons why it doesn't rank higher. Now saying all that, it's still really enjoyable. Brian Cox makes a phenomenal villain as William Stryker and he's arguably one of the best in the series. The Wolverine arc too really develops here and you get an added sense of the mutant legislation pressure after the phenomenal Nightcrawler intro. Overall it's still an excellent film but it just drops the ball a bit for me in certain areas that makes it rank slightly lower for me than I'm sure it will for most. Number 7, X-Men First Class. X-Men First Class is a real shot in the arm for the franchise that reintroduces the central X-Men characters in a fantastic new way. The incredible Bond-esque first half hour that follows Magneto as he tracks down the Nazis that murdered his family, coupled with the enthralling origin story for Professor X and Mystique are wonderfully portrayed and this period piece feels like a fresh new start that revitalises the franchise in many interesting ways. Number 6, Deadpool. There are 4 or 5 moments in your life. Four or five moments where you get to see a film this groundbreaking. Deadpool was and still is a complete game changer in the superhero genre. 
After taking years to finally come to fruition, nothing about this film falls flat, with the movie revolutionising the R-rated comic book film and creating a massive trendsetter. Deadpool is unique in its fourth wall breaking dialogue that makes every moment shine throughout the film. The movie is hilarious from start to finish and it also has a heart that really elevates it above the majority of movies on this list. Brilliant from beginning to end, Deadpool deserves its high ranking. Number 5 Deadpool 2 The Extended Cut Deadpool 2 for me bettered its predecessor in every way. Whether it's the dialogue, comedy, action or characters, every aspect of the film feels like a step up and it's a brilliant movie that is improved even more by its extended cut that adds more profanity and gore. Whether it's the hilarious cameos, outstanding music or expanded cast, everything feels like an upgrade from the first film and it's an amazing movie from beginning to end. Number 4 X-Men X-Men is a film that I fell in love with upon first viewing and even today I regard it really highly. This kick started the comic book movie craze and feels like a blast from start to finish. Every character is perfectly introduced and it's incredible what the creative team were able to pull off first go when films like Justice League still fail to juggle characters in this manner. The movie made a star of Hugh Jackman and rightly so. He's incredible in the role and when you have phenomenal actors like Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen and more backing him up, it's difficult to go wrong. This is the original and still one of the best and that's why it ranks so highly on our list. Number 3 The Wolverine To me The Wolverine feels like the quintessential solo outing for the character that is as close to the comics as humanly possible in the Fox universe. From the incredible atom bomb opening all the way to the bone claws at the end, this film feels enthralling, unique and emotional. The extended cut features far more violence and gore than the theatrical version and it expertly showcases why Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is one of the best comic book characters ever put to screen. It's amazing that this movie was filmed in Australia as the set design makes it look completely authentic as a Japanese locale and it makes me wish that more films use the country as a setting. Overall this is a brilliant piece that definitely deserves a revisit if you're a bit so-so on it as the action, acting and in-depth look at Logan's psychology is phenomenal. Number 2 Logan Coming in at a close second is Logan. Though it could be argued that on any given day this is the best film in the franchise. Logan transcends the genre and works just as well as a drama piece as it does a comic book movie. Every actor is giving their all in the film and whilst it has a far slower pace than the other movies in the franchise, it heightens the drama through impactful moments and heartbreaking story beats. Logan is a near perfect film that is probably one of the best comic book movies ever made and it just slightly, just slightly loses out to number one. Number 1 X-Men Days of Future Past The Road Cut X-Men Days of Future Past is the pinnacle of the X-Men franchise for me. Set in an apocalyptic future, the film immediately sets up the threat of the Sentinels in one of the most devastating introductions in the entire series and from here it's breakneck pace, solid acting, passing of the torch from the old generation to the new and the rest massively elevates it. This time travel story not only successfully adapts the source material but to me it also betters it. The movie really has everything and the film perfectly balances the future with the 1970s period setting in an astounding manner. This solved a lot of the problems of the franchise and whilst it would go on to create more, this beautifully feels like a high point. Oh and don't forget the Quicksilver scene which is by far the best action moment in the entire run and you have the greatest X-Men movie ever made. And that's my list. Obviously I'd love to hear yours and where you rank the films of the franchise. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you subscribe to the channel for my ending explained breakdown of Dark Phoenix which will be out in the next couple of days. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.